So today we are playing scenario one of the Explorers and Pirates expansion and this scenario is called Land Ho. Now the way Explorers and Pirates works is the scenarios follow each other. So if you get this expansion, you can't pick and choose which scenario you want to play. Play in order because they build off of each other. So in Land Ho, there's a lot of new parts because it's the first scenario. So there are all of these water tiles. Uh, it explains in the instruction manual how to build the map. So there's a lot new, a lot of new water tiles, plus your six basic ones over there. There are also the basic land hexes. There are no water hexes. This is all the water here. And there are these green moons and orange sun hexes. Kind of like Fog Islands in the Seafarers expansion, they have land and sea on the other side, and you discover these. Again, like Fog Islands, there are corresponding green moon and orange sun numbers. So very similar. If you have played Fog Islands in the Seafarers expansion, this is very similar. In Land Ho, you will need the following items for building. You will need these, which are called harbor settlements. You will need ships. And you will need settlers. We are going to set up the board and we will be right back. This is what the board looks like when it's all set up. So you have your orange suns, just like in Fog Islands, they're upside down, and you have the green moons. Then you have the tokens, which Lily's going to point to with the numbers on either side. And when you discover one of the islands, one of the undiscovered ones, if it's a land, you'll take one of the numbers and place it on top. So I'm gonna show how to use harbor settlements ships and settlers. Harbor settlements, like they say, must be placed on the edge. So there's no harbors in this game, but they must be built on the edge. After you build your harbor settlement, you can build either a ship, coming off one of those ways, or a settler. So when you build the settler, he goes right into the harbor settlement. Once there is a ship there, you may move your settler onto the ship. At the end of every turn, each ship gets four movement points. So this ship would move one, two, three, as soon as it touches the edge of one of the secret islands, that island is flipped over. We're not going to because I don't want to give away what it is. That is the automatic end of your movement. Whether or not you have moved four, that's it, that's all. If this is a land hex, you would collect one resource of that kind 
from the bank. If it is a C hex, you get two gold. So there is gold in this game. And again, gold is used to buy resources from the bank. Two golds buys one resource. Let's pretend this is a land and I want to build a settlement there. How that works, because I have a settler in my ship. I would take a settlement and these two are both gone from the game. So, that's how settlements get out to those islands, by using the ships and the settlers. But again, once you place that settlement, your ship and your settler go back into your stockpile, and again, you'd have to build them and move them out. I'll bring these guys back here. So, if you've noticed, there are no cities in this game. There are only settlements and harbor settlements. Harbor settlements are worth two victory points. However, unlike cities, you only collect one resource where they are. Settlements are, of course, worth one victory point. A couple other things to notice. There are no development cards at all in this expansion. There is no longest road and no largest army. And if you have traders and barbarians, there is no harbor master because there are no harbors. There's no robber and there's no pirate in Land Co. He comes later. If a seven is rolled, same rules, if you have more than seven cards in your hand, you must discard. But there's no, you don't, there's no stealing if a seven is rolled. If a number is rolled and you do not own any of that number, so if I am here and here, I have nine, eleven, and three. If an eight is rolled, I get a coin. Every time a number is rolled where you do not collect resources, unless it's a seven, you get a gold. Because there are no harbors, the basic trade is three to one. It is not four to one, it is three to one. Like I was saying, each ship gets four movement. Three, four. If I would like to add two more movements to that ship, I would have to pay one wool. And I can do that for all my ships if I wish. Three ships would move all three ships. Three wool would move all three ships two extra spaces. You cannot pay two wool to move four extra spaces. One other thing. Let's pretend there is a settler in there and my boat for some reason is out there comes in one two he may load the settler and continue on his way three four the only time you cannot complete all four movements is if you discover one of the secret islands so i think I think that's it. That kind of gives you the basics, the new pieces, and how to build settlements out on the Mystery Islands. So to start, everybody will build one harbor settlement and two settlements. The order in which you place, if you have not done a three-player place before, goes as follows. So if I'm going first, blue places, red places, orange places, all of our harbor settlements, followed by an orange settlement,
followed by a red settlement, followed by a blue settlement, followed by a blue settlement, followed by a red settlement, followed by an orange settlement. And that is how they are placed. So harbor settlements first, settlements at the end. You get three placements as well. When you start the game, you will collect from not your harbor settlements. We collect from both settlements as well. Every player starts with two gold. So we're gonna go ahead and get placed. So we've all placed, just wanted to point out that when you do start, everybody gets a row with their settlement, which is normal. Um, with the harbor settlement that you placed, everybody gets a ship with a settler in the hold already. So you're ready to go, you can head out right away and build your settlement out on the islands. Um, so we will, I'm going to keep it unpaused for the first little bit, at least my turn, so we can kind of show you heading out. We collected for both of the settlements that we placed, however, not the harbor settlement. I rolled a four. I personally do not collect, so I'm going to go ahead and get moving. I'm not going to buy anything. So I'm going to end my turn by moving my ship. One, two, three, four. My ship is touching that mystery island. We turned it over. It is a water. Therefore, I get two gold. Don't forget, every player also starts with two gold, so I now have four. So that is how you find and move your ships out to the mystery islands. Like I said, had that been a land hex, I would have collected that resource and I would have put on a corresponding number from this pile here. And that's how you play Land Ho. Go discover the islands, drop off your settlers to make your settlements, and be the first to get to eight victory points. So one thing we did uh, kind of forget to explain is that the harbor settlements are like cities in the way that um, they must be upgraded. You cannot just purchase a harbor settlement. So over here, orange, you can see has a settlement on the coast. On hit dad's next turn, he may upgrade that into a harbor settlement for two wheat and two rock. Um, but that is an upgrade only.
and that's game. So mum one, blue one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, land hole is a quick game. So that's it. Keep playing and have fun.